Thanks for stopping by. This is Two Minute Classroom, and today we're comparing prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. First, we'll talk about five major differences between them, and then at the end, I'll give you some tips on how you can remember which is which so you can do well on your tests and quizzes. And if you really want to dominate your classes, be sure to subscribe to Two Minute Classroom to bookmark my channel and see all my latest content. Now let's talk about the differences. Eukaryotic cells are made up mostly of organisms you are familiar with, like animals, plants, fungi, and protists. Prokaryotes are composed of bacteria and archaea. Prokaryotic cells are generally small, 1 to 10 micrometers, while eukaryotic cells are larger, 10 to 100 micrometers. And if you're wondering how small a micrometer is, 1 centimeter equals 10,000 micrometers, so they're really small. Prokaryotes are unicellular, meaning the entire organism is composed of a single cell, whereas eukaryotes can be multicellular, like plants and animals, or unicellular, like phytoplankton and protozoa. The biggest differences come inside the cells. Eukaryotes have membrane-bound organelles. These include the mitochondria, chloroplast, and Golgi apparatus. These structures have their own membranes and perform specific functions within the cell. Prokaryotes have no membrane-bound organelles, so no mitochondria, no chloroplast, no endoplasmic reticulum, etc. The final difference I'll highlight is in their genetic information. Eukaryotes have large amounts of DNA that is linear and stored in the nucleus. Prokaryotes have no nucleus, small amounts of circular DNA that's freely floating in the cell. So now you know the differences, but how are you going to remember them? Just remember that you are eukaryotic. You have eukaryotic cells. You are larger, you are multicellular, you have a nucleus, and you have a mitochondria. So when you see eukaryotic, just think of you, and everything else is prokaryotic. I hope that helps. Uh, put any questions you have in the comments, and if you want to get more involved with 2-Minute Classroom, check out the community tab on my channel page. I love to connect with my subscribers and viewers, so please check that out. Uh, here are some other videos about cells that uh, you'll likely find helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.